Hello! This is a video about a shield generator different type. So there's different type of shield generator. There's the normal shield generator, there's the biweave, and also the prismatic. And if you're rather new to the game, you might be confused on exactly how they operate, what's the difference, and which one you should use in different situations. So the first thing I'm going to talk to you about is the main difference between them. Let's uh, just browse my shield generator here. The standard shield generator, the one that I just stand out as shield generator, like this 5A here. And also you notice there's a biweave shield generator in the same class, but it's a C class. So the biweave won't be higher than the C class. So I have a 5C here, if I point each of them. So this one give me 379.7 and this one give me 469. So you're gonna say by default, oh yeah, this shell like giving you me more. But this one, the main difference is you lose a bit of shield cap, but you get a much better recharge rate. Not only the normal recharge rate when you take damage, because uh, how it works is like if you take some damage in combat, if you don't take damage for the next 5 seconds, they're going to start re regenerating. This is also increased. But also, when your shield comes down, bef when they're, they're broken before they get to form again, this will also be much faster. So... Let's now have a look at the prismatic. So to show the difference, I'll equip that one, and now I'll equip a prismatic I have. It's a bit engineered, but doesn't make much. Of a, well, it does make a difference, but so with the four six nine not engineered, the the basic one, and now if I took a prismatic, it's gonna be way higher. Keep in mind they're engineered, so a base one will not be as high. I didn't have like available right now non-engineered one. But the problem with that shield is, yeah, you can get better cap value, I cap shield, but the the regen, the broken regen when they're down and when they're up and they start regenerating, it's abysmal. So let's. I'm gonna show you also a little something. Uh, oh yeah, uh, the biweave color are purple. Well, as you probably know already, the normal shield generator is blue, and the prismatic appear as green. So now I'm gonna switch uh, to show you exactly how fast are the regen of the biweave against normal against prismatic, and also I'm gonna show you the color. So, I'm going to switch right now. This is the Biweave Shield Generator Broken Regen, which should be significantly faster than the normal shielding. Which, it, it is faster. Noticeably faster. I will not wait for the shield to be fully regenerated, but this also will be significantly faster to get back all uh, all the, the ring in the shield to be like fully charged. And now the normal shield generator, which should be significantly slower than the biweave. Visually I can tell it's slower.
All right, let's not wait until it's fully uh, full, but I think you can see the idea here. And now the last shield, the prismatic shield generator regenerate, the broken regenerate. I won't do it again to the maximum because it will take forever. So here we go. So by we extremely fast, normal, not too bad. And this is gonna take forever. That's again without shield boosters or any special kind of thing. Alright, so let's stop now. Okay, first the color of the uh, bee weave shielding. A nice purple color. And now for the color of the prismatic shielding. A nice green color. Alright, uh, just notice I didn't show you the color of the normal shielding because uh, the color of every ship you see, the blue shielding. So now I'm going to explain to you why and what situation you would want to use by weave shield generator. Well, this is more like opinion in a bit, in a way, because some people would prefer like different shield type depending on what they're doing. But I'll explain for me. So when will I use the by weave shield generator? So this is my ship, the FDL, and uh, when I'm doing PVE, when I'm fighting like bounty hunting, uh, stuff like that, I'm gonna be rolling by weave. The main reason is I'm a rather fast maneuverable ship, so I'm not gonna get as much damage as a bigger ship. So. I'm, my shield gonna have more chance to regenerate even in combat and even if they take damage after I'm done when I'm moving around it's gonna be n noticeably faster for my my uh, shield power to go back up so for PvE this is my main choice but if I go PvP I will personally prefer having prismatic shielding because you're gonna have a white iron cap and usually in pvp well it's possible that uh, example you have by weave you should go down and they may go back up with an fdl but most of the time when your shield go down you're in trouble so in pvp i would prefer prismatic all the time at least with the fdl and also, if you take another ship like uh, the Federal Assault Ship or um, the Chieftain, these are old tank. Their shield, whatever you do with them, they're going to be very low. So if you don't have choice to have a very low shield, the bi wave is going to be amazing. Because uh, instead of having a tiny bit amount of extra shielding, you know your shield's going to do, go down fast anyway. So now they're just going to pop back up so fast so overall that's going to be way more effective and uh, for like a bigger ship example i'm going with uh, either an anaconda or my federal corvette for pve or pvp this ship i'm gonna personally i will not choose by weave i will only use prismatic shielding because I'm a bigger target and there's no way I can like uh, maneuver around do smaller ship and avoid damage all the time. So I'm going to be a huge target get, that most of the time going to be taking damage and they won't have much time to regen anyway. So on these, I'll use Chill Cell Bank for PvE and having like the prismatic one. So in the end, it's your personal preference. But for me, that's what I found that was going to run best. And uh, that's mostly it. Oh yeah, I may, uh, I may uh, give a word about the normal shield and when I'm going to use them. So basically, I never use a normal shielding except for one uh, 
exception. Example, let's imagine I'm doing exploration with that ship, which would be kind of dumb with the FDL. So I'm going to browse and I just want like the minimalistic shield for having a, a shield not being too heavy. So example, if I take the shield like the 3D right here, it's uh, like a normal shield. Uh, it's going to be only 2 ton. And the bar weave here is going to be like 5 ton, as you see. And this one I have right now is 20 ton. So I'm going to only use a normal shield one if I want like to have the minimalist, the minimalistic shielding possible when I'm doing like special stuff, you know, like trading, uh, exploring. So my way is going to be down and it's going to be very cheap shield that I want as a minimal protection. So that's that's for me. So I hope that video was useful and I'll do, the video I'm going to do next is about uh, shield engineering and what I use. So I hope that video was useful. Thanks for watching.